Here's three things to know before upgrading your CPU. Now behind the graphics card, the processor is probably the most important component in any gaming PC build. And upgrading your CPU can be a fantastic way of adding extra performance. But there are a few key things you need to consider. The first is whether or not your existing CPU is actually a bottleneck. Now what I mean by that is, is your existing processor holding the performance back of your build? And if not, why is it the component you're looking to upgrade? If you've got a situation where your CPU you just can't keep up with your graphics card anymore, then this is the part you'll want to look at. But if not, you might want to consider a GPU upgrade instead. But okay, you've settled on a CPU upgrade. You need more gaming performance or more cores for video editing, rendering, or streaming. The first thing to consider is the socket your new CPU uses. Is this compatible with the socket your current CPU has? For example, in the case of Ryzen with AM5, you've got great upgrade paths, and you can easily jump from a Ryzen 5 7600 from last gen right up to a 98 or 9950X3D from this gen. If your socket isn't compatible and you're changing to a new platform, consider what that platform might be, what motherboards you'll need to buy and what DDR generation your CPU needs. Some older processors will use DDR4, but the vast majority of new chips will require DDR5 as standard. Finally, the third thing to consider when upgrading your CPU is the cooling. Now, higher end CPUs do need more cooling and it's worth looking at the requirements your CPU has. Personally, I like to stick with the five, seven and nine trip. If you've got a Core Ultra or Ryzen 5, an air cooler is fine. A Core Ultra 7 or Ryzen 7, you want to step up to a beefy dual tower air cooler or budget liquid cooler. Well, if you've gone for a Ryzen 9 or Core Ultra 9, you want a higher end liquid cooler that's at least of a 360 mil radiator size.